Hi y'all, Dan Ramsborough from DA Components. Just gonna do a short video about maintenance that we all don't do, because I'll put my hand up myself. So the main common one, I will do a separate video, is uh, issues with controllers and pumps with wiring connections. That's a separate video that I will be doing later on. So the first one uh, I'm gonna talk about is pumps. If you've got the, the strainer fitted, what you'll generally find is this here, where the filter is, gets a bit clogged with all the swarf inside the uh, plastic tanks, mainly when it's fairly new because it does disappear when it's been used over a period of time. What you'll find is this needs rinsing out under a hose pipe. You need to just get your finger in there and clean it out and clean around the area. Make sure that's nice and clean. And just to let you know, that actually is stainless steel as well. And then just rinse the actual little tub out, put it back together, and then fit that back on. If you do take this off, when you spin it off, just make sure you turn your stop tap off your tank because you might have a little pool of water in your van. And then here's a separate video of cleaning the pump diaphragm if you need to go to that next extent if you're DI only, because sometimes a DI resin gets past this and into the pump diaphragm. So that's about the pump maintenance, what I recommend. And then we're gonna talk about cleaning clamps out on poles. I've took this clamp, all this clamp set off pole itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to put these in a bucket of warm soapy water, let them soak overnight, and then I'm gonna stick the hose pipe down each section of the pole and just rinse it out with all the debris and just let that dry overnight. And then I'm gonna clean them out with some soapy water on the outside of there and dry them off. So I'm gonna clean uh, the sections, out sections, outside sections of the pole uh, with some nice soapy water and a microfiber cloth. Great indication as well, I always just get that inner lip there, right on the edge, where the clamp clamps onto as well. You can even do the bottom one as well. And it's a great indication again to inspect your pole as well, to see if, if there's any airline cracks or anything, but that's pretty good. So that's been washed with nice soapy water. Now we're gonna get a dry one and dry it off. So that pole has been rinsed out inside with just the whole general hose pipe to get all the debris out. So, pole maintenance. This one here, I've actually cleaned the outside of it with a microfiber cloth, soapy water, and dried it off. And I've actually applied the pole spray from Jigsaw Innovations and just buffed it off and you can see the difference and I can actually actually feel it as well and the way it finishes compared to the, the undone one with the actual pole spray so this has already been cleaned so I'm just going to spray the pole spray on it again and show you how we do it little shake and just light strokes and just as you, t as you do the next stroke, just turn the brush, turn the pole towards you until you get to the other side. Move it further up, turn the pole. Just keep turning the pole as you spray. I wouldn't advise you to go over it because you're just wasting the product in my opinion. Turn it around because that will be layer of dry as soon as you touch that. Then just do the top end of it or the bottom end of the pole. And I would leave it just to, just to air off, I would say. And as it's airing off, you can actually see the difference. I haven't even cleaned this one yet with a soapy microfiber cloth or anything. So just the difference in that is phenomenal. And it gives it a bit of a, 
uh, protection as well. So what I'm going to do with that middle one, what I've just sprayed with a pole maintenance spray, I'm actually just going to buff it as well. You don't have to do that, but I find it better. Just to give it a buff, quick buff. And just by doing that, you can even feel the difference in the uncleaned one. It just, it just looks so much better. Now when I put this pole back together, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And I also want to talk about uh, clamps and maintenance of clamps because there is slightly different ones. Some are glued on and some are uh, bolted on with an Allen ball, Allen key or bolt, what you want to call it. So I'm just going to take this one off with a four mil, I think it's four mil Allen, Allen key. So you just undo the Allen key, uh, the bolt with the Allen key. You can take it completely out if you want, but I tend to leave it in still because you might lose the nut. And then just push it off. And with this one, what you'll find is there's an actually uh, TPU plastic sleeve inside. Now you can re you can replace these uh, little sleeves if needed because the, if the pole gets a bit worn and it doesn't want to tighten up. But the pole's fairly new, so I'm just going to take it out and I'm actually just going to clean it and uh, clean it with a good old microfiber cloth and some soap and uh, let it dry and once it's dry I'm actually going to spray it with the, the pole spray and you can actually see how mucky the sleeve actually is all the crud and stuff it actually gets used and then the inside of the clamp as well I'm actually going to clean the inside of this clamp I'll take the nuts apart and the actual lever apart and just give it a good old scrub with a little brush or something or the microfiber cloth and leave it dry once it's dry, I'm actually going to spray it with a, the pole spray as well and then I'll clamp it all back together and put it all back together ready for work the next day or for Monday morning. So, let's talk about brushes. The great thing about uh, brushes, I always have the rule of thumb of the same as your toothbrush. If you don't have your toothbrush for the full year, you should really regular change your toothbrush as well as the brushes so if your brush ends up like this and it starts getting a few bristles at the end or it starts depleting some of the actual bristles as well you can also uh, use this when it gets like this for UPVC cleans and conservatory and the, the gutters and stuff but then when you get your brand new brush it'll feel as if it's like a present because once it hits the glass, it, the, the glide on the new brush, as we all know, is fantastic. So that's my uptake on brushes. When it start getting a bit like this, like all the bristles start forming out and that, but I wouldn't throw it away. I'd always keep it as a spare for PVC cleaning. So that's my uptakes on brushes. Another thing I want to pick up on as well, uh, while we're doing a maintenance video, is uh, your hose reels, the guys who uh, use the hose reels. Uh, what I tend to find is, in my opinion, over the years, if you reel the reel out completely, it's best to check you know, the, the bolts that hold it onto the, the spindle inside. Sometimes with all the vibration and the movement and everything, then I think they're, I think they're about eight or 10 mil bolts. It's just nice to keep on top of them as well and just give them a little tweak even every now and then just to keep them nice and tight so when the rail goes back on it's not all over the place and then we come to uh, the connectors there's a couple of different connectors and free enough i need to change this one now so i'm going to change it there's a couple of variations out uh, and, but for me i just can't you can't beat the series 21 quick release connection there's a couple of ways of attaching it to the actual hose where you're going to get uh, the o-rings and uh, you have to cut them off and it sometimes you can damage yourself but for me you can't beat a standard jubilee clip uh, but what i tend to find is an actual uh, socket and a ratchet it's just so much easier you ain't going to damage yourself so i'm going to change this one now for you know so you just need to undo it take the old one off i'm actually going to replace the Jubilee clip with a new one and for me I just always like a stainless steel one as well it just lasts a bit longer and then slide the new one inside the hose and then 
Here is my uh, mini ratchet. And what you'll find there, I haven't slipped with no screwdriver or anything because we've all done it. <laughs> and there we go. A new quick release connection on the end of my hose with a stainless steel uh, jubilee clip. Thanks a lot.